Good morning, everyone. What we're going to do today is show you a simple way that you can improve your declarer play. I'm going to do that by connecting to bridgez.net, and I'll put the URL in the comments. This is playing bridge with WBridge5, which is one of the strongest robots. Robots are quite good players, but they struggle to bid at, bid at times. But the first hand of every daily tournament is a fixed hand, so you don't need to bid. You'll just get a real problem hand to play or defend. So I'm going to log in here and click on the play button. If I press to deal now, it will take me straight to the tournament deal, which is the first hand of the 16 that are available every day. Uh, on the right hand side, you can show the convention card and modify the conventions. You probably want to do that because it's not set up how most UK players would play a bidding system. Um, but let's go through to the first deal and see what's happening. So we can see that West has opened a week two spades and the auction has then seen us get to five diamonds. We'll click to play and we'll get the lead and get to see dummy. So <clears throat> we can see on this hand that um, we've got seven spades between us and the real danger on the hand is that if we let East rough the ace of spades on the first trick, then we'll have no discard for our spade loser and also for a club loser that comes through us. So what we want to do is to duck this trick uh, we'll concede a rough on the second round of the suit if West continues it, uh, but then we'll be able to set up a spade and the ace of hearts for club discards. So there's no need to risk the finesse here. We can go up with the ace, and now we can draw trumps. And we see that East did, in fact, rough with a trump trick, so it wasn't that costly. And now we can take the spade finesse, catch the ace, put in our club, and the ace of hearts, put in our second club. And now we can press these cards here to claim, because and the program will go through everything. It wouldn't accept the claim if it didn't think it was valid. And that's the end of the hand. And we can see up in the top left that we're fourth out of 311 with 90%, which means that most people failed this contract. If you look at the bottom left, 55 people made the contract, but significantly more went one or two down. All, always the first hand is difficult like this. There is a, a trick to it. The cards won't lie in a very favorable way. So you must think about how you're going to play the hand. Here, I could see that if I covered the ace of spades, I'd have a diamond loser, a spade loser, and a club loser, because a club was going to come straight back through. Uh, and those are the things you have to think about. And there's a little podium on the right hand side where you can see your ranking for the board. And you can see that I, the beer card, are one of the people who got it right. Uh, the only people above me are robots, and they don't play the hand the same way. They actually bid them, so they get the opportunity to reach different contracts. So it's a little unfair. Um, as we go down the list of players, we can see I've highlighted one or two of my friends, Ulf Nielsen, who's Ulven also made the contract. Mayers, who's a top English player, he also made the contract. And we'll go down and see whether any of my friends have failed. No, nope, they seem to be doing quite well at the moment. Or not, haven't played the hand. But if you want to improve your declarer play, just go on to bridgez.net and play the first hand of the day. Uh, if you want to continue playing the tournament, you can just press to deal, and it will take you to the next hand. You don't have to do this straight away. Once you've completed the deal, you can come back any time during the day to play the hand. And in the following 15 boards, 
you'll get the opportunity to bid and play. Uh, as I say, it's a good way of improving your declarer play. Have fun.